Welcome in Western Slope. I'm Jocelyn Stafford. Well, we are finally here. Week 2 of Friday Night Frenzy is tonight at 10 o'clock. But before we find out which teams are facing off this week, CMU is back in the mix. Finishing off Game 1 with a 40-3 win over William Jewell last night. Let's take a look at the night that was. Tonight was great. Um, I really can't explain it. A great night for the brand new Mavs roster to make their debut. Both offense and defense standing out as CMU took to the field against the Cardinals. Coach Jackson says once the nerves diminished, the team really came together. There was a lot of nerves. There was a lot of eagerness to prove that we were a good football team. There was a lot of pressure on the talent that we have on this football team to come out and just score. And so we told them coming out, just relax. It's, the, it's game one. Um, Nerves are, are going to be there, but don't let your nerves desert you is kind of what we told them. And so when they came out in the second half, I think they were a little bit more relaxed. They understood the mistakes they made. I thought our coaches did a great job of making some adjustments at halftime to a real loaded box uh, by William Jewell. And so we were able to take advantage of it, and they settled down and made some plays. Now one of those second half plays that had everyone talking was quarterback Karst Hunter's first collegiate touchdown pass on a 65 yard strike to Elijah Lilly, who takes this one all the way to the end zone. Yeah, when I caught the ball, I just looked up and there was nobody there. So at that point, I just knew to run as fast as I could and eventually I get in the end zone. Right when I threw it, I just sat my head. I said, if he catches this, he's gone. And, and that was that. While the offense put 40 points on the board, the defense deserves a lot of the credit for holding William Jewell to just one field goal in the game. We have, a, we have good schemes, good coaches, and as long as we just come on a day-to-day -day basis, then we're just going to keep getting the job done, for sure. When we, when we lost our last game in 2020, we made a pack amongst ourselves that we weren't going to be in that situation again, that we were going to go out and find the very best players that could play no matter what team they're on, first team, second team, third, that they can just play. So when you do get up, you can play young guys and grow them up. And then if somebody gets hurt or that silent injury and COVID that we're still in, if that hits you, you can't have a major drop off. That's what we see a lot in Division Two. We didn't want to be that average Division Two program. So it feels good. From a college game last night to tonight's high school ball, first up on the docket of tonight's games is the battle between two Western Slope teams, the Central Warriors hosting the Palisade Bulldogs. Antonio will have all of your highlights at 10. But it doesn't stop there. Next on the list, we head down the road to Rifle, where the Bears are hosting the Glenwood Springs Demons. This non-league matchup is bound to be a good one, and I will have all of the updates for you later tonight. And lastly, our game of the week takes place in Montrose, where Mike is capturing all of the action as the Fruita Wildcats hit the road to take on the Indians. You can catch all of the highlights tonight in week two of Friday Night Frenzy. Until then, that's all of our time for sports. I'm Jocelyn Stafford, and we'll be right back.